एंड वेलकम टू बॉक्स टॉक आई एम शेखर गुप्ता बैक अगेन इन माई नेबरहुड इन डेली एट आई आई टी कैंपस लास्ट टाइम आई वॉज हेयर आई हैड अनदर वेरी फेमस आई आई टी एन ऑन द शो दैट इज रघुराम राजन नाउ द गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई एंड हु ब्रिंग्स मी बैक हेयर इज समन हुज परहैप्स इवन मोर फेमस मिसफिट आई गेस Misfit, misfit in IIT, misfit in life. Misfit. Misfit. I come here, Shaker, and I feel like, did I really make it here? It, it really ah. feels like that now. But ah. yeah, I did. In fact, we are standing next to the pillar where I got my JE result. Aha, uh -huh. it was stuck on this pillar. Yeah, 22nd June 1991. That day never will go away because before that I was just a middle class West Delhi boy, ah. and I, then I became a IITian, and then life was never the same again. Hmm. So it's quite a historic place we are standing. So describe that day for us because that's a big dream of you know that's a big dream for. every middle class kids mother oh yes <coughs> and so i'm talking of a time when they used to stick the result now it's all found online you can even sms and find it so the romance is gone uh -huh. but i changed two buses to come uh -huh. from narayana vihar uh -huh. to uh, dholakuwa first and then i took a 620 bus to, to come to hoskar huh? and then i came <coughs> and i had very little expectations but uh, i saw it and i wrote, i saw my rank 326 and i just couldn't believe it and it was there were no mobile phones there was nothing at that time so i had to take the two buses back home and then tell my mother and then tell that and it's it still didn't hit me because for me that was like a huge achievement in my life so this is the chetan bhagat pillar at iit delhi i wish it was but there's a pillar of a million millions of aspirations <laughs> it's a big pillar but you know uh, i was there uh, a week back uh, in fact i was inaugurating their uh, literary festival yes they have those and now. i asked and people ask me uh, about iit and going out and doing other things and i asked for a show of hands on how many kids really wanted to be engineers yeah in the hall, full hall not even 30% hands went up yeah i mean i'm surprised 30% did go up because i think the i professor was watching <laughs> i know maybe some <laughs> of them or maybe someone didn't get the question or something but uh, 30% is uh, you know people come to iit to get a better life and that's the fact of it they could be and they are such a strong brand that if you are an iitian once you are an iitian iitian forever and uh, that's what they come here but they could teach engineering they could teach forestry they could teach anything so i think that that's not relevant people come here because in search of a better life it's the middle class dream it's the kbc of the middle class hmm. especially the academic kinds before hmm. kbc was there this this iit KBC is you only a few people win, but here thousands of kids do get in and transform their lives every year. Hmm. But and not everybody. I mean, most people know nothing about engineering when they come. No, here. I mean it's just This that the parents say you should go to IIT and it's a best academic place. Because it, it's also a fair test. Yeah, it's a filter. It's a very strong filtering mechanism which has proven to show some pretty good results. Hmm. Uh, they are able to filter talent, and there are not that many. talent filtering mechanisms in the country mm. and iit does the pretty good job mm. and iit uh, i mean look at the elite iit is produced uh, it yeah. produced editors yes uh, the editor of indian express now who's worked with me for a long time is from iit yes india's foremost activist arvin kejriwal is from iit yes india's sort of uh, most reckless and brave ias officer is from iit yes ashok khemka and india's finest economist the most powerful Yeah. Economic decision maker Raghuram Rajan is from IIT. Yeah, and even then, and many more, and blokes like me managed to make it. So you can imagine yeah. this place is is uh, does something to you. I'll tell you what this place does to you. You you face excellence, which you don't see a culture of excellence in our country. I, I'm not being judgmental or elitist, but here, the professors, everybody, it's like you you have to be good at it, and I think that gives you almost a sense of cocky over confidence, which mm. sometimes can manifest in wrong ways. but let, let's take someone like an arvind to to really think that i'm going to take on the establishment and create my own thing and to be able to get away and do it i think it's something has to do with his years at iit because he was here and he thought i can do anything i want also 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 the belief at that point that i am one of the 3000 out of the yeah. lakhs that tried and that's what one i one of the millions that dreamed trust me i that's what i always feel i remember my struggling years in bollywood and when people would shut the door on me and this like that i'm like you know what i can do this I can do this. I've faced exams. They will never. They and their kids will never face in their life. If I could clear those exams and reach till this point, I can do it. Can so, you imagine a star kid appearing for IIT? That'd be really interesting. The only <laughs> <laughs> my kids might, <laughs> but I'm not a film You're star. You're a star. 
I mean, uh, a star, star, but not a I mean, you star. mean like actually? Uh, I mean, you haven't got the biceps. Here. No, I don't have the biceps. I uh. eat carbs. I I have a long way to go to be a star. But I, I'm saying someone associated with Bollywood and their kids taking IIT may be mine. But even I'm not so sure now. I don't know if I want them to take um, IIT. It's up to them. But yeah, I, it's very quite very interesting. It could be a very good movie where a, a film stars kids say, Dad, we don't want to be actors, we want to be IITians. Uh, so when you do that, when you write a script of that movie, <laughs> you remember who to give credit to. Well, I will. Something, like. something the only thing is, it will be like a spoof movie because uh, nobody will believe that this is possible. Uh, but that's also true. You know, now kids from well-to-do families do not compete in these institutions because they cannot compete. They go straight to the they US. They cannot compete, Shekhar. And although it's a filtering mechanism, there are issues also. I was very pro IIT because I'm very attached. This is my alma mater, everything. But I do realize that it's not the the kind of rigor you have to take to get the exam is often at the expense of other activities. Mm -hmm. You you these people who make it to IIT often I find that they have lost those years. They've only prepared for I this exam. I will tell exam. you a personal story about IIT Delhi uh, because I live in the neighborhood yeah. across the road and I've lived there for more than two decades now. We go for evening walks and once you get on TV, one of the pleasures you are denied is anonymity. Yeah. The only place I find total anonymity is IIT Delhi. Yeah, because they have no Because, because no, 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 nobody has seen much no. TV. But if you were teaching physics and you were like a coaching institute owner, they'd, they'd mob you. But I think that's what you do. You lose that perspective on the world. You lose sports, you lose this. And if someone can afford to send their kids abroad, they would. By the way, this is the computer services center where we used to come at night uh -huh. for two reasons. It was really hot in Delhi and this was the only air conditioned place. So you pretend to work and you at least get a few hours of coldness. <laughs> the second thing is I discovered email here. The email in the early 90s came and uh -huh. it came to IIT many years before it came to the world. So I saw email and I mailed a friend in the US. So this this is the door. And then you learn to use social, social media, media. So, as nobody has in India. Uh, I don't know if nobody has, but it's a very, very critical part of my promotional marketing strategy. In fact, now my new book is coming and we are doing very few media interviews hmm. because I keep telling my team, everybody, the whole game is online. Hmm. It's all online. So hmm. everything is moved online. And yes, you're right. This is the first place where I saw computers in my life and now it's everywhere. I remember the f first computer came here in the 60s. And, yeah. And uh, we used to be children here visiting uh, IIT <laughs> to be with an uncle's family uh, and in summer vacations. And it was a big excitement. It was, it, it was a huge computer with a big printing With the punch thing, cards. With the punch uh, cards. And not punch cards, it was punch Tape, tape, that, tape. Was, that was like drop of these uh, Most of the younger, <laughs> yeah, most of the younger <laughs> generation are looking at us and like, what are you guys talking about, uh, right? Yeah, but that's true. You've seen so, those uh, days. So look at yourself. Uh, for a young person, I'm I'm now basking in your glory. I'm getting noticed because I'm with you. Uh, <laughs> maybe I sign autographs mm. later saying, you know, you, you know, Chetan Bhagat. IIT Delhi, I am Ahmedabad, Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, yeah. and now this fame. So for any kid who's coming into an institution like this who wants to come, you've checked all the boxes. That's right. I've been a good middle class boy, which means I've listened to my parents. But I've also lived my dream and I started a little late. And, and I'm, I'm one of the few lucky ones for which it worked out. So I am kind of like become, and that is why you often find my presence more than just my work, which is that I am the symbol of middle class success. This is the middle class aspiration. Um, when people see a Ranbir Kapoor or a John Abraham, they're like, oh wow, he's so cool, but I'm not him. But when people see me, they see, yeah, I could be him, you know, and that's, that's where I think the fame has become a little disproportionate to the kind of work I've done. Your parents approve of some of the language you use in your books? One you know, particular <laughs> line in, in the new okay, one. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> your punchline. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I read a quote, see, don't write to impress your mother. I mean, uh. you, can't, you can't write books if you are worried about your parents. I try. It's not like I do extra colorful language. But your but mom would love you anyway. Yeah, my mother would love me anyway and I've dedicated the book to her uh. just to be the safety net. Two states I took off on my in-laws a lot. And that's the only book in the world, I, at least I know of, which is dedicated to my in-laws. Which doesn't mean I'm a very henpecked guy or anything, but uh, it's just that I. But was it, taking it's useful, them. particularly when you do a bunch of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you correct. Can, you can Easy brownie points. <laughs> distribute, distribute your favors. <laughs> That's right. You know, uh, IIT, IIM is all right. Uh, we all know it. But what's this about West Delhi? Yeah. 
you know, you say middle class boy, but you're the best Delhi boy. I mean, yes. If, even if you look at the Indian cricket team, I they characterize West Delhi. So from Gautam Gambhir to Shikhar Dhawan yes. to, to, to Virinder Sehwa to Ishan Sharma, the only Indian bowler who bounced the other team yeah. out maybe just once and then got injured after that. Uh, there is a certain attitude to any cricketer that comes out of Western Delhi. It's a very interesting question and I, I'll tell you and of course at the risk of stereotyping. But all of them are pugnacious. All of them but are impatient. Go back to the history of Western Delhi. Virat Kohli. Correct. Uh, I'll be Correct. killed by cricket lovers <laughs> if I didn't mention that. Yeah, yeah. But go back to the history of Western Delhi. It was a refugee colony. Huh. My mother, when she was growing up in uh, near Punjabi Bagh, she said that we used to be in school and they would come and say, who are the refugee kids? And they, she said 95% of kids would raise their hands. Rapuji, as they say. Huh. Yeah. And they used to give them food or some gift or something like that. Something were given, entitlements were given to them. And land was given away. West Delhi, la West Delhi was not Delhi. It huh, was just right, right. strips of land yeah. given away to hungry people who had come and who wanted to make it. South Delhi was pre-established and I think the kids born here are less hungry and, and less uh, have, uh, don't ha have a sense of entitlement. Mm. Again, you can have both cases both right, and right. I am stereotyping. But yeah, the West Delhi is more commoner, you know.